I wanted to talk a little bit about working with uh, Martin Scorsese because you jump into a movie like that. I imagine there have to be expectations that come with working with a director like him. So what were those expectations and how did he exceed them? Walking onto his sets, it's like walking into church or something, really. It's, it's like you could hear a pin drop um, and everybody is just knows their place. Everything is very there is a kind of ritual to the whole thing. It's like all these people who have been working with him for years and years and adore him and, and are adored by him. Um, but everybody from the kind of the person that's bringing you your cup of tea to the sound person, to the costume designer, you know, Sandy Powell, they're all, they're all, uh, you know, at the absolute top of their game. I mean, they are all the most brilliant people in our industry. Um, and, to be surrounded by those people and to be able to have the benefit of their expertise expertise is just is so crazy. It's so wonderful and it is really intimidating, but in the kind of best way. Um, and I, you just feel I don't know. There's something about there's something about working with people who are so good at what they do and working with Martin Scorsese who is so good at what, is, what he does that it's it sort of the nerves are. The, the terror and the horror of the situation is completely mitigated by the fact that they are so expert and so good and so, and you're, it's not sort of, they've chosen you because they want you or something like it, 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 it very quickly doesn't feel like, well, I mean, of course, in the back of my head, there's always a feeling of like, this is a mistake. Like I, this was a terrible mistake. <laughs> this was some piece of paperwork got mixed up and I shouldn't really be here at all. Someone else called Emily should be here. Um, but but he doesn't, he really doesn't make you feel like that. You know, that's just the voices in your head. The reason that he makes movies is because he loves movies. He's an, uh, uh, you know, a cinephile by like bar none. And, and, and so there's such enthusiasm for the process of making a film and he's so ungrand about it and every shot that you that he's creating it's all um it's all like oh this is a show he'll say oh you know you're lying in this scene so i'm going to put the camera above your head because in every hitchcock scene when someone's when a character's lying or not telling the truth the camera's looking down at them um from higher than they are and 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 he just is getting such a kick out of it that you do too, and it sort of stops. There's, it doesn't feel precious. It just feels very, you know, precise and good. And uh, he has a great talent that the great filmmakers have of, 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 of just somehow by some osmosis or something like you understand the world that you're in, that you understand the world that he's creating, and you know, kind of half your job is done because he just help. He just he lets it be clear what the world is and, and you can just enter it and go with it. Mm -hmm.